Hello friends, welcome to War Wiki. Today in Meticulous Monday we bring you a latest news on one of the biggest achievements of Indian defense industry. We bring you a latest news and future of BrahMos missile. In this video we will also give you a brief about the history and success of BrahMos missile, as well as explain you some critical technologies used in it. Before we tell you about the recent developments about BrahMos and its future let's first discuss about this weapon a little. If you have seen our previous video on Indian cruise missiles, you might find some information as repetitive, but today we go more in depth to explain you the BrahMos and its capabilities. BrahMos is a joint venture between the Russian Federation's NPO Mashin Ostro Ionia and India's Defense Research and Development Organization, where the Indian DRDO is a majority stakeholder, holding 50.5% of stake. The name of BrahMos is derived from the two rivers, the Indian Brahmaputra and the Russian Muscova. BrahMos is perhaps the most versatile Indian missile, which can be fired from land, sea and air, destroying any target in land or sea at a distance of up to 300 km with a whopping speed of up to 3 Mach. BrahMos is a supersonic ramjet cruise missile. Let's get into some details and understand what this means exactly. Supersonic implies to the speed that BrahMos missile can achieve, any missile which travels more than Mach 1, that is more than the speed of sound, is considered supersonic. BrahMos is designed to achieve speed of 2.8 to 3 Machs. Cruise missile are missiles that cover most of their flight path like a guided plane, depending on different capabilities they can hug the terrain or fly freely in open sky. Their speed is probably the biggest deciding factor between cruise missiles. They are designed to deliver a large warhead over long distances with high precision, unlike ballistic missiles, cruise missile do not have a predefined flight path and can change their altitude and direction randomly, and hence become more difficult to intercept. BrahMos is the fastest cruise missile in the world, which hugs the terrain and can fly at a height of 5 feet from the ground, and is considered unstoppable by most defense analysts. Ramjet refers to the engine technology used in BrahMos. A ramjet engine is derived from a jet engine. Jet engines are usually used in any commercial or fighter planes. Some of the biggest, heaviest, and most important parts of the jet engine are its compressor and turbine, the spinning compressor wheels suck in the air, which is further compers to generate high temperatures which ignites the fuel in the combustion chamber. The turbine is used to push the exhaust gases out which helps in propelling the aircraft forward, the turbine wheels are attached to the same shaft as the compressor wheels, so in a way more powerful this turbine is, faster the compressor wheels will rotate and suck in more air, and more will be the speed achieved. However when the air inflow in the engine is already higher than the speed of sound. The air is already heated to such high temperatures that it does not require any compressor. This is what is the core behind the ramjet engine. The turbine and compressor are removed from the jet engine, to form a much lighter much more efficient engine, which does not have any moving parts at all. This engine can be used to attain high speeds of up to 4 Mach. The booster technology is used to achieve the speed of sound, once that happens ramjet technology increases the speed of the missile many folds. Although this might sound simple, the implementation is easier said than done. In 1998 India did not have the technology to develop the ramjet engine, this is where India's all-weather friend came in. Russia helped India with this technology and a new joint venture company was formed, it further has subsidiaries operating separately on different technologies for the parent companies. The Russian subsidiary worked and contributed in ramjet engine technology, target seeking and booster technologies, all needed to achieve supersonic speed and target seeking capabilities. The Indians on the other hand contributed towards navigation system development, onboard computer, flight control systems and system evaluation for this missile contributing to parameters like precision and terrain hugging capabilities as well as sudden turn maneuverabilities. Each of these technologies have been perfected by respective countries. If this was not enough two new technologies have been perfected and implemented in BrahMos. They are the S-turn and steep dive technologies. S-turn basically means that during the last stage of its flight path just before striking the target, the missile does an S-shaped maneuver. This makes the missile impossible to intercept. The steep dive technology means that if an enemy is hiding behind an obstacle like a mountain cliff, the missile will hug the terrain cross the cliff and do a sudden steep dive to hit the target. This makes the missile extremely lethal and precise. With extreme terrain hugging capabilities the missile can travel at a height of just 5 feet at a speed of 1 km per second. The best of the radar available in the world today can successfully detect this missile only 15 km away, which gives them just 15 seconds to intercept it. With an S-turn maneuver it virtually is unstoppable. 
BrahMos currently has three operational variants which have either been deployed or being tested. Surface to surface variant. This includes the capabilities to be fired from any surface, which could include the fixed or moving missile silos on land, or any ship surface. This variant includes capabilities to be launched from land to land or sea, and to be fired from sea to sea or land. Submarine launched variant, this implies to the capabilities to be launched from below sea level. The missile was test fired in 2013, and can be launched from a depth of 40 to 50 meters. All future Indian submarines which are from Russian origins will have these missiles deployed in them. Air launched variant. Popularly called BrahMos A, can be launched from a fighter or tactical bomber plane to destroy any land or sea target. The testing and integration of BrahMos A with Sukhoi 30 MKI is currently ongoing. BrahMos A is 500 kg lighter than its land-based variant since it loses its larger booster to accommodate a smaller one. It also has additional tail fins since missile is launched from air when aircraft itself clocks Mach 0.6 speed. It also packs a much heavier 300 kg warhead when compared to 200 kg warhead seen on land or ship-based missiles. Future Variants there are several variants of BrahMos in either later stage of development or in early planning stage. BrahMos NG or BrahMos Next Generation is a mini version based on the existing BrahMos, it will have same 300 km range, a little higher speed of up to Mach 3.5. But it will weigh around 1.5 tons, 5 meters in length and 50 centimeters in diameter, making BrahMos NG 50% lighter and 3 meters shorter than its predecessor. The main idea here is to make the missile more stealthy, as BrahMos NG will have 50% less radar cross-section compared to its predecessor. The initial testing for this variant should begin by end of 2017. BrahMos 2 BrahMos 2 is a hypersonic cruise missile. Missiles above the speed range of 5 Mach are considered as hypersonic missiles, BrahMos 2 is being designed to achieve speed of up to 7 Mach, with operational range of up to 600 km. Once operational it will be the fastest hypersonic missile of its time. This missile is currently in development phase and it can take 6 to 7 years for it to be operational. UAV Variant This was the dream project of the Missile Man of India, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Although still in conceptual phase, this missile can change the warfare completely. This will be a hypersonic version of BrahMos which can be reused if needed, which will be able to deliver its payload and return to base. The model is loosely based on the Sudarshan Chakra of Lord Vishnu, a major Hindu god. This missile can be named as BrahMos-3, Sudarshan missile or the Boomerang missile. This last week was very eventful for BrahMos and its future. On January 20, Sudhir Kumar Mishra, Chief Executive Officer of BrahMos Aerospace, for the first time publicly spoke about the Boomerang missile, he told the Tribune, that going at a speed of more than Mach 10, the Boomerang missile would have a capacity to deliver the warhead, assess the destruction of target, come back and get ready to go again. This candid admission about the speculated missile, indicates that this missile has gone beyond the concept phase. Apart from this, Mr. Mishra also confirmed that the development of BrahMos 2 is underway and progressing splendidly. On January 25th, a day prior to Indian Republic Day, news surfaced in UAE media, that India is looking at selling defense equipment during the visit of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, who was the honorary guest in Indian Republic Day Parade. The top on the UAE's list of equipment was the BrahMos missile. Later the External Affairs Ministry of India confirmed this and stated, there have been talks on the BrahMos missiles, but India will immediately offer only the equipment for which it holds IPR rights. In yet another news, on January 28, CEO and General Designer of the Machine Building Research and Development Consortium, Alexander Leonov, stated that since the BrahMos requirement of Indian Armed Forces have been more or less met, the delivery of BrahMos to third countries will be possible now. This could mean that in near future, you can expect some big bang announcement regarding BrahMos deals, since 14 countries have already shown their keen interest in BrahMos missiles. Vietnam could be the first country outside India and Russia, to obtain these prized possessions. On the very same day Leonov also stated that Russia and India will develop BrahMos light cruise missile specifically for submarines torpedo launchers, and for fifth generation T-50 Pak Fa fighter jets. This could be the BrahMos NG as discussed previously in this video, or could be a new version altogether. This new missile should fit the size of a torpedo tube, and be almost 1.5 times smaller by its weight. 
it will be possible to mount this airborne missile on a wide range of aircrafts. Although it will be developed keeping the fifth generation planes in mind, but possibly, it will also be mounted on the MiG-35 fighter. Looking at so many news regarding this missile in quick succession, we won't be surprised if any big ticket deal for BrahMos is announced by either India or Russia. Before we end this video, we would like to ask something from you. What do you think? Is BrahMos the best cruise missile of its class? Please do comment and let us know your answer. We hope this video was of any use to you. If you found it to be informative or entertaining, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up. We roll out 5 videos in a week, the only way to catch them all is by subscribing to our channel. So please click that red button and subscribe. We will continue to bring you more such news and in-depth videos, have a great day and support WarWiki.